Have you ever wondered about the difference between the Vimarana and the Labrador? Well, in today's video, we will be comparing these two energetic, full of life, large dogs. Welcome back to the Fenrir Vimarana show. If this is your first time here, my name's Devoho and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we will be comparing these two beautiful breeds. Let's first start with the history of the Weimarana. This breed has originated from Germany. They were first bred for hunting purposes in the early 19th century. Some of the first Weimaraners were owned and used by royals to hunt large game like deer, boar and bear. Over the years, as these animals were hunted less and less and Weimaraners adapted to hunt foxes, rabbits and fowl instead of the bigger game. This breed was originally kept in the Weimar court, from where they developed their name. It is said that these beautiful dogs could have descended from St. Herbert hounds or Sheehan Grease dogs. These dogs were then bred to setters and pointers to create the breed that is so loved today. In 1880, a Weimaraner was first exhibited at a show in Berlin, and in 1881, the first recognized purebred litter was born. It wasn't until 1896 that this first breed standard were created by a man named Major von Bunau. Following that, in 1897, the first Weimarana club was formed. It wasn't until 1935 that this gorgeous breed arrived in America and 1952 when they arrived in Britain. Now let's look into the history of the Labrador. Labradors have a long history dating back all the way to the 1500s. They originated from Newfoundland, Canada. The breed we know today had been bred firstly from small water dogs and Newfoundlands. This created a breed called St. John's Water Dogs. St. John's Water Dogs were used by fishermen to help pull in fishing nets and to jump into the cold icy water to collect fish that had fallen off of the fishing hooks. They made excellent water dogs as they had webbed feet which helped them glide through the water and they had a waterproof coat. St. John's water dogs had their name changed to the Labrador when they were imported to the UK in the early 1800s. The Earl of Malmesbury instantly acquired the breed to help him with hunting. He began to call them Labrador dogs and from there the name stuck. During the late 19th century, the Labrador was standardized and fine-tuned by British breeders. They were recognized by the English Kennel Club by 1903 and by 1917, the American Kennel Club had recognized the Labrador Retriever. The Weimarana, also known as the Grey Ghost, is a medium to large stunning breed that has an athletic muscular appearance. Male Weimaranas stand at around 23 to 28 inches at the withers and weigh about 66 to 88 pounds. Females usually stand at 22 to 26 inches and weigh 55 to 77 pounds. Weimaranas have long heads, long ears that are set high on their heads. They have long necks and strong legs. They are also often slimmer than the Labrador. Weimaranas have always originally had dock tails, but docking is now illegal in many countries, so you now mostly see their narrow, slim tail. Weimaranas have a short coat which is very easy to keep maintained. A quick brush weekly will keep a Weimaranas coat looking fresh and clean. Weimaranas come in a coat color of silver gray, which makes them extremely a recognizable breed. As puppies, Weimaranas are born with dark stripes a few days after they are born. Their eyes also change color within the first two to three months of their lives. Did you know that Weimaranas can also come in a long-haired coat? 
This long haired version is recognized by most kennel clubs apart from the American Kennel Club. This long haired breed requires more regular grooming to keep their coats tangle free. Labradors are a medium to large size athletic breed. They come in three different colors which include yellow, chocolate and black and some white markings are allowed according to the breed standards. Male Labradors stand at 22 to 24 inches at the withers and weigh around 65 to 80 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, standing at 21 to 23 inches at the withers and weigh 55 to 70 pounds. Labradors have a short, dense double coat which is water resistant and should be brushed weekly to keep the amount of shedding low. They should have a muscular appearance and be strongly built. They should have a broad skull, deep chest, strong back legs and ears that hang close to their heads. A Labrador's tail should be thick at the base, getting thinner towards the end. This tail helps them to swim through waters easier. It is often described to have an appearance like an otter's tail. Weimaraners are a lively, energetic breed. They are commonly known as Velcro dogs as they adore being by your side 24-7. They will happily join you with any type of exercise like runs, hikes and biking. They require at least two hours of exercise a day and a chance to be able to stretch their legs and run at least two to three times a week. This can be done in a fenced backyard or if your Weimaraner has a good recall on fields whilst out on a walk. This breed will also appreciate play times or a game of fetch in the garden. Bimaranas are known as the dog with a human brain. They are extremely clever, which means they are easy to train in manners, obedience, and in toilet training. Positive reinforcement is essential when training your Vimarana, as they don't respond well to harsh punishments or shouting. A downside to this intelligent breed is that if they are not properly exercised, both mentally and physically, they soon turn to bad habits, such as chewing and barking. Vimaranas can quickly figure out how to open crates, gates and doors and they will become Houdinis and try to escape their boring surroundings and find a better adventure. The Labrador has gained the reputation of being one of the most sweet and gentle breeds which explains why they are the most popular dog breed in America and in the UK. They are a very loyal breed and are eager to please their owners. Labradors are certainly an intelligent breed, which makes them easy to train. The best form of training for a Labrador is positive reinforcement, as they can stop following your direction if you use harsh punishment. Some owners think that because Labradors have such a good reputation, that training isn't required. However, without any training, they can become unruly and think that they should rule over you instead of the other way around. Labradors need plenty of exercise and should be exercised for at least two hours a day to burn off some of their energy. As well as physical stimulation, they also need mental stimulation. Labradors can become quite destructive when they become bored. However, when they are mentally stimulated, this behavior is unlikely. You can stimulate your Labrador by using toys like Kongs, snuffle mats and puzzle toys. Both of these breeds love to retrieve things for you, so games of fetch are a must with both the Vimarana and the Labrador. They also both love to eat whatever can fit into their mouths, so should always be supervised with toys, especially when they are puppies. Both breeds are also big chewers, so it is important that you teach both breeds that this is not an acceptable behavior. Another downside to both breeds is that if they are not taught it is okay to have some time on their own, they could both develop separation anxiety. Weimaraners are an extremely loyal breed to their owners and they can take some time to warm up to visitors. They enjoy being around children as this means they get extra playtime. However, be careful with small children as Weimaraners are large dogs and could accidentally knock them over. It is also important to teach any children how to teach your Weimarana and when to leave them alone. There should be no issues with your Weimarana living with other dogs or pets if you put the time and effort in to try to socialize your dog to different situations. This will make them feel more relaxed when out on walks and will help them become a well-rounded dog. 
but bear in mind they do have a high prey drive due to its ancestry of being a hunting dog and if not properly socialized they can clash with other dogs and animals. You will find that your Weimarana won't actively approach other dogs when they are on walks. They will happily stay with you and assess the situation first. Now let's look into the Labrador social needs. Labradors adore being part of a family. With the right training, your children and your Labrador will become best friends. As with any dog, it is important that you show your children how to approach dogs and how to treat them. Labradors will live in harmony with other dogs and animals. It is important that every dog is socialized from day one of receiving your puppy. This consists of exposing your puppy to as many different people, animals, sights, sounds, and smells. This will help build up your puppy's confidence and turn them into well-mannered, polite, calm canines. Your Labrador will want to welcome everyone into their inner circle, yet still will be protective and loyal towards their family members. The Weimarana and Labrador are both loving, loyal, and energetic dogs. The addition of either would be a fantastic canine companion for a calm, consistent leader who is looking for an active, playful canine who are family focused and will also serve as your family's protector. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Weimarana videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Weimarana Show.